Hello all, welcome to EC lectures for another video. In this video, we will see the video on amplitude modulation topic. We will get previous questions all done. And the video is a continuation video. Okay, so let's move on to the question. Suppose that the modulating signal is m of t is equal to 2 cos 2 pi fmt and the carrier signal is xc of t is equal to ac cos 2 pi fct. Which one of the following is a conventional AM signal without over modulation? So, or conventional signal is represent by the that is without over modulation. So, option A and D does not represent a conventional AM because it represents a DSB SC signal. Okay, so option B and C represent conventional AM. So, first I will tell you option B, x of t is equal to ac into 1 plus m of t into cos 2 pi fct. Now, we have a representation of AM. So, that is the compare. Okay? So, substitute m of t ac into 1 plus uh, where 2 into cos 2 pi fmt into cos 2 pi fct right so this is general form compare this is it represents modulation index mu therefore in the signal modulation index mu is equal to 2 the question is the point they have asked conventional AM without over modulation in the point so over modulation na enna over modulation na mu greater than 1 abdingaradu over modulation right so appa without over modulation na so without over modulation ku condition enadu without over modulation condition should be mu less than 1 so signal conventional am represent pannalum idu vandu over modulation oda irukudhu so in the option kandipa correct ah irukka mudiyadhu so let's move for option c option c idu konja rearrange panni eludikano ac cos 2 pi fct plus ac by 4 m of t cos 2 pi fct ac cos 2 pi fct common ah irukku idu konja rearrange pannitona it will come into AM form. Okay. Inge let's substitute M of T or substitute panikla. cos 2 pi FMT. AC irthachu, so only by 4 podu. So cos 2 pi FCT. Bracket or okay. So this is the AM or format liya, exact AM format. Liya. So this is represent mu modulation index liya, 2 by 4, which is equal to 1 by 2. So so in the signal order representation mu less than 1 correct inge ena ketta convention am without over modulation so in the condition satisfy agudilla so option c is the correct answer for this question option c let's move for next question so consider sinusoidal modulation in an am system assuming no over modulation modulation index mu when the minimum and maximum values of the envelope respectively are 3 volt and 1 volt R. So, mu order formula na, mu is equal to 3 volt, ma, uh, okay. it the maximum V max is equal to 3. V minimum is equal to, so V max minus V minimum divided by V max plus V minimum. Therefore, 3 minus 1 divided by 3 plus 1. 2 divided by 4, which is equal to 1 by 2. So, mu order value is 1 by 2. So, it's a simple question. Okay, let's move on for next question. That is 11th question. In a double sideband full carrier, AM transmission system, if the modulation index is doubled, then the ratio of total sideband power to the carrier power increases by a factor of. So, total sideband power divided by carrier power is equal to mu square by 2. It is an important relation. Okay. So, if the modulation index is doubled, if the modulation index is doubled, the ratio of total sideband power to the carrier power increases by a factor of n. So, in the earth, doubled na enna pannu? mu on the 2 mu abdine replace pannu. 2 mu the whole square by 2. So, 2, two square is 4 mu square divided by 2. 
ஸோ பழைய இதுலேருந்து எவ்வளோ அது இன்க்ரீஸ் ஆகிருக்கு ஃபோர் அப்படிங்கிற ஒரு ஃபேக்டரால் இன்க்ரீஸ் ஆகிருக்கு ஸோ இட் இன்க்ரீசஸ் பை த ஃபேக்டர் ஃபோர் இதுதான் இதோட கரெக்ட் ஆப்ஷன் ஸோ த கொஸ்டின் நம்பர் டுவெல் இஸ் த ஆம்பிடியூட் ஆஃப் அ சினிசாய்டல் கேரியர் இஸ் மோடுலேட்டட் பை அ சிங்கிள் சினிசாய் டு அப்டைன் த ஆம்பிடியூட் மோடுலேட்டட் சிக்னல் எஸ் ஆஃப் டி ஸோ சிக்னல் கொடுத்துருக்காங்க தே ஹாவ் ஆஸ்ட் ஃபார் மோடுலேஷன் இண்டெக்ஸ் ஓகே ஸோ ஃபர்ஸ்ட் கொடுத்துருக்க சிக்னல் எடுத்து எழுதிக்கலாம் எஸ் ஆஃப் டி இஸ் ஈக்வல் டு ஃபைவ் காஸ் தௌசண்ட் சிக்ஸ் ஹண்ட்ரட் பை டி பிளஸ் ட்வெண்ட்டி காஸ் தௌசண்ட் So, amplitude modulation signal representation S of T is equal to AC into 1 plus mu M of T into cos omega CT. So, the expand panne abdi yalda ana S of T is equal to AC mu by 2 cos omega C minus omega MT plus AC cos omega CT plus MT. AC mu by 2 cos omega C plus omega MT. So this represent upper side band, this represent lower side band, right? So in the signal, if you compare it with this, so this represent carrier signal and this represent upper side band and this represent lower side band, right? So compare panna AC or a value AC is equal to 20. So AC mu by 2 is equal to 5. Right? So we want modulation index. So mu ki equate panna mu is equal to 5 into 2 divided by AC. 10. AC or a value na 20. So we'll get 1 by 2. So modulation index or a value 1 by 2. Right? So let's move for next question. So question number 13, the unmodulated carrier power in an AM transmitter is 5 kW. The carrier is modulated by a sinusoidal modulating signal. The maximum percentage of modulation is 50% and if it is reduced to 40%, then the maximum unmodulated carrier power that can be used without overloading the transmitter is. This is an important question. So kudutrika data edutha edikalam. Carrier power PC is equal to 5 kW. Modulation index mu is equal to 50 percentage which is equal to 0.5. If you want to say that 0.5 and 0.4 reduce our PC or the value and the value of the value of the value. So first we will find total radiator power PT. So formula is PT is equal to PC into 1 plus mu squared by 2. So first total radiator power can be equal to PC and 5 into 10 to the power 3 into 1 plus mu. 0.5 the whole squared by 2. So, in here, number 5 into 10 to the power 3 into 1 plus 0.5 the whole squared by 2. 1 by 4. Kilo or 2 rikku. So, 1 by 8. So, we'll have 5 into 10 to the power 3 into 8 plus 1, 9 by 8. So, the answer will be 5.625 kilowatt. Total radiator power. So, if we substitute this, we will find carrier power. So, PT, PC is equal to, we will equate in the formula we use, we will equate for PC. We will equate for PC, PC is equal to PT by 1 plus mu square by 2. Right? So, 5.625 divided by 1 plus mu square, and then mu value is 0.4. Right? 0.4 the whole square by 2. So calculate pandra po 5.625 divided by 1.08. In the value will be equal to 1.08. Okay. So we will have 5.208 kilowatt. So the unmodulated carrier power is 5.20 kilowatt. So let's move for next question. Question number 14 is. Consider the following amplitude modulated signal. So, S of T kudutthir kaanga. They have asked the ratio of the power of the message signal to the power of the carrier signal. Aungo kethu karudu power of the message signal to the power of carrier signal ratio. Okay. AM square by 2. PC can represent as AC square by 2. So, by 2 by 2 can be cancelled. 
So we want AM square by AC square ratio. So kurtrika sigma edikla S of t is equal to cos 2000 pi t plus 4 cos 2400 pi t plus cos 2800 pi t. So this signal represents the carrier signal, right? So AC cos omega CT. Therefore AC is equal to 4. So next, in the signal on the lower sideband and in the signal on the upper sideband component represent pan rang, right? So this is the amplitude on the AC mu by 2. In the end number may nala, it is taken as 1. So AC mu by 2 is equal to 1. We want mu. Mu is equal to 1 into 2 by AC. Therefore 2 by 4 which is equal to 1 by 2. So mu is equal to, now my mu use pandida am value kandu pudi kuparo. Mu is equal to am by AC. So mu can also be represented by this formula. So am da namak teva. So am is equal to, equate for am, mu into AC. So mu is equal to 1 by 2 into AC value and a 4. So we'll have 2. So we want the ratio PM by PC. Therefore PM by PC is equal to AM square 2 squared 4 AC square in here KC 4 square 16. Therefore 1 by 4. So the ratio is 1 by 4 and this is the correct answer for this question. So question number 15 is the transmission bandwidth of an AM signal is. So transmission bandwidth of an AM and then a 2 FM. So, Kurtrika option, la, it is same as a signal bandwidth, twice the carrier frequency, half the carrier frequency, and twice the signal bandwidth. So, the correct option is option D. And this question is asked in T and EB. T and EB, la get a question either. So, question number 16, either gate, la get a question, it is the master following, neither the options, la me key layer, okay? So, the power efficient transmission of signal, SSB SC because uh, minimum transmitted power is SSB SC. Right? So simplest receiver structure being at the conventional AM. Okay. Now FM Marana Manu FM Park la so we'll go for option D. Okay. Bandwidth efficient transmission of signal with DC component is. So DC component abinale it is an important point though so it is in VSB modulation technique da. Okay. So most bandwidth efficient transmission of voice signal is FM. So that's the end of the video. So in the video la get la get a question set to solve panirkem. So in no problems here. So upcoming sessions la videos la na the post panra. So in the video la ndo ungko idea karachuruko. So every problems ke kranga abrin solli. So in the problems le daado doubt erundi da abrin na the comment la solunga na clarify panra. So enna topic we no where enna improve panikino na video la solli te comment pananga and kindly share and subscribe EC lectures. So niya subscribe panra the which will be so motivated for me. And uh, formulas ella time on the tani or note la edit which will be very helpful for you in revision. Thank you for watching. Thank you.